The relationship between Brennan and Carly is under increasing scrutiny as the two find themselves spending more time together. Brennan, as the WSB station chief for Port Charles, holds a significant amount of power, but his interactions with Carly seem to go beyond professional briefings. Carly, however, is walking a fine line as her loyalties are deeply entwined with Sonny Corinthos. The latest complication in her life comes from helping Sonny cover up a violent crime, all while pretending that she and Sonny were together the night of the murder. This facade creates an even messier situation for Carly, whose personal and romantic life is anything but simple. Brennan seems to be aware of Carly's delicate position. His feelings for her, though largely unspoken, complicate his decision-making as he briefs her on the WSB's activities. Does he want to deepen their relationship, or is he cautious due to Carly's involvement with Sonny? The tension between duty and personal feelings weighs heavily on their interactions. Carly, always calculating, must decide whether she will allow their relationship to evolve or if she will keep her distance to protect herself from being further dragged into Sonny's orbit of crime. Either way, the stakes are high, and the future of their relationship remains uncertain. Meanwhile, Elizabeth Weber finds herself confiding in someone new, Willow, a returning nurse at General Hospital. Despite Willow's own personal dramas and ongoing challenges, she seems to put them aside to offer a listening ear for Elizabeth. The topic that weighs most heavily on Elizabeth's heart is none other than Lucky Spencer, her former love and the father of one of her children. Even though he's physically distant, with his current work taking him to East Africa, Elizabeth can't shake her feelings for him. As she opens up to Willow, Elizabeth reflects on how Lucky continues to occupy her thoughts, and the emotional connection between them still feels strong, even after all these years and all the turmoil they've faced. For Elizabeth, Lucky represents both unresolved love and unhealed wounds, and her confessions to Willow highlight her inner turmoil. Is she ready to move on from him? or is she holding out hope that he'll return to her life in a more permanent way? This conversation provides Elizabeth with a rare chance to process her lingering feelings, while Willow offers compassionate support, despite the complexity of her own circumstances. At the same time, Rick Lansing's return to Port Charles is causing more than just ripples. He's making waves that could potentially upend lives. Representing Heather Weber in her legal troubles already put him in the spotlight, but Rick took things a step further when he revealed to the police that he witnessed Alexis Davis dumping the missing gun. In his mind, it was a matter of civic duty, doing the right thing, or so he claims. But this decision doesn't come without consequences, especially within his own family. His daughter, Molly Lansing Davis, is left questioning his motives and their relationship hangs in the balance. Molly confronts Rick, seeking to understand why he made such a bold move. Her father's actions strike her as potentially self-serving, and she worries that she might be forced to distance herself from him, just as she has with other family members. Rick, ever the lawyer, tries to justify his actions, but Molly's trust is fragile. The conversation between father and daughter serves as a turning point. Will Molly be able to reconcile with Rick's choices? or will this be the final straw in a strained relationship? For Rick, the consequences of his so-called duty may run deeper than he anticipated. Ava Jerome, much like Anna Devane, has endured a year filled with personal turmoil, unsolved mysteries, and emotional chaos. The lingering cloud over her life includes a stalking scandal and a murder that remains unsolved, both of which have eroded her sense of stability. Ava, notorious for being her own worst enemy, is in desperate need of a win, anything to break her cycle of bad luck. The universe may finally give her a break as she uncovers a critical piece of information that could shift the tide in her favor. But what exactly does she discover, and how will it impact her future? This moment of fortune for Ava couldn't come at a better time. She's been floundering in her attempts to, to regain control over her life, and the revelation she stumbles upon has the potential to turn everything around. But even with this glimmer of hope, Ava knows that her troubles aren't over. The truth can be a double-edged sword, and how she wields it could either save her or further entangle her in the web of drama that surrounds her. As Ava grapples with her newfound advantage, 
the question becomes whether she will use it to right the wrongs in her life or fall back into her self-destructive patterns. Finally, there's Anna Devine, who could certainly use a victory of her own. After months of dealing with one crisis after another, Anna's professional and personal life have been weighed down by unresolved cases and personal vendettas. Teaming up with Jordan Ashford offers her a fresh opportunity to finally get some answers, particularly concerning Isaiah Gannon, the John Doe who has been lying unconscious in the hospital. When Sidwell's assassin attempted to finish the job and kill Isaiah, it was Jordan who heroically took down the hitman, marking a critical victory in their ongoing investigation. Now, with Isaiah awake and the assassin in custody, Anna and Jordan find themselves at a crossroads. Isaiah might hold the key to unraveling the larger mystery, but getting him to talk won't be easy. At the same time, they have the hitman dead to rights, presenting them with another opportunity to extract information. The tension between the two women is subtle, but present. Anna, known for her need to control every situation, would do well to let Jordan take the lead this time. After all, this is Jordan's mission, and she's more than capable of handling the pressure. For Anna, relinquishing control is no easy task, but if they're going to get the answers they need, trusting her partner might be the best move.